Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Robin and this is my Western themed island evergreen. Well, Western and kind of farm core, I guess. In today's video, we're actually finishing off the farm core area of the island. I am 75% done this island and I'm ready to move on to the next island project. So I'm determined to get this finished. So this, uh, this build is a little scattered and crazy because I didn't really have a plan, but yeah, anyways, I think it turns out pretty cute. So keep on watching if you want to see how it turns out. And uh, yeah, let's get into this build. All right, so like I said before, I didn't really have any plan. You're gonna see me running around like a chicken with its head cut off, trying to figure out where I'm putting everything. Cause yeah, I didn't know really what I wanted to do. All I know is that I wanted to make Tangy's area, which is the area I'm working on right now, kind of, uh, like a fishing farm type thing. And I wanted to make the back house, which I believe is Elmer's house, a pumpkin farm. So that was all I had in my brain when starting this. Uh, as you can see, most of the path is put down from before when I previously worked on the farm in the front of this area. I do end up adding more pathways, obviously, as you can see. And then the rest is just me running from one end to another, trying to place everything it's just, it's just very chaotic. I don't know how else to describe it, but I did have fun doing it. And I do love the way that this uh, little neighborhood farm area turned out. So for now, I'm just gonna put on some music. So grab a snack, grab a drink, and yeah, enjoy the build. Okay, so I was struggling to figure out how I was gonna end the train tracks and start the pathway because it just obviously looked awkward. And someone actually commented saying that I should use the safety barrier or use the iron frame DIY, which I didn't even know the iron frame DIY was a DIY. I've never even seen it before. I had to Google it. But anyways, I didn't e have either of those options available to me. So I end up opting for the fence, as you can see, and it turns out great. But I just wanted to say thank you for commenting that because uh, yeah, it was a really great idea.
Okay, and here is the final walkthrough for the farm area on Evergreen. Like, I guess the farm neighborhood area. I don't know what you would call this. That's the best I can come up with right now. But yeah, here's a little montage for you guys. Okay, can we just appreciate Elmer having the zoomies at like the perfect moment? He's so cute and I love him so much. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of this neighborhood farm build in the comment section down below. I love the way that it turned out. I think it's super cute. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It would mean the absolute world to me. We are 75% done evergreen. And after this, I'm gonna restart the game and you know, that whole ordeal. I'm definitely not flattening again. I can't, I can't go through that again. That was so time consuming and annoying. But yeah, we have a few more builds builds and a few more villager hunts and then we are all complete so yeah stay tuned anyways thanks for watching guys bye